How was your off season and sort of what was your focus to, to get ready for the regular season and spring training? Off season was good. I spent it split time between Houston and the Dominican Republic. I spent a lot of time out there with my family. Uh, and the focus was, you know, keep improving, keep working on some hidden things. That was the biggest focus. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. How do you feel that that's coming around? Is it hard to, hard to say until you face some pitchers as far as, the, you know, the hitting? I've done some lobby piece. Mm -hmm. I feel it feels better. You know, it feels comfortable. It feels like I'm working on the right things. And, uh, yeah, we're waiting for the games and put it into practice. What did you really want to hitting wise? Just simplifying things. Uh, simplifying things, being a little more quiet, and being a little more consistent with positions. You look at your your last year, a lot of your numbers were improved over the year before, and everyone freaks out about the, the power, but uh, you know, how do you uh, you rationalize sort of the season you had and then and, and sort of you know where the power lies in that and then, uh, going forward, how you want to uh, maximize that? I think there were a lot of good takeaways from last season. Uh, there were some areas I definitely want to improve, and that's been the goal of this offseason. But there's definitely some good takeaways from, from last season. Same same weight as usual? I mean, it seems like everybody comes in heavier or stronger. Oh, what up, three yeah. pounds? Three pounds. Three pounds. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like the, um, the simplifications, it, it, how is that going to help you, um, what you did, with, like the little changes that you made? Simplify. Like I said, it's mostly with getting to consistent positions. And when you do that, then uh, you could be more consistent at the plate. Is it just in terms of um, like swing path or uh, how, uh, when you talk about being more consistent, what, what are the, I guess, the, the end goal that you're trying to get to? There? So the end goal is to get to a position to where you feel comfortable to, to do damage. You know, you want to be able to repeat that every single swing. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's the focus. I mentioned that, um, just the, was it at all baffling? I mean, you've shown that you can hit for power up here. Uh, was it at all just like confusing or baffling just to go through that in the second half? I mean, it's what it is. You know, it's in the past already. I'm not really going to uh, think about it much more. You know, I already, uh, you know, kind of broke it down, broke down my season like a week into the off offseason, uh, built a plan to, to work on in the off season, and now it's a new year. You know, now we, uh, now we move forward. Is that something you did on your own? That, that breakdown, and, um, or was that like with the coaching staff? Or? I I have a good support system around me. You know, I have great coaches. You know, I have people I can talk to. Uh, me myself. Uh, so it was a group effort for sure. Did you spend any time with Jake Reynas? <laughs> so I actually worked out with him once. You know, at University of Houston. Uh, he got there a little late, so gave him some slack for that, but. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he. Uh, I think he went, hit a home run the other day, right? I Two days ago. Tripled his first at bat. Tripled his first at bat. I think he went deep uh, yesterday or something. But okay. he's doing it, so exciting. How do you feel about the additions to this team? I mean, obviously turnover is always a, a thing in baseball, but the, the new guys that are coming in, how do you feel about them? I mean, I think they're going to help us. They're, they're going to help us for sure. You know, I got to talk to Caratini quite a bit, mm -hmm. worked out with him a couple times. And he's got the right mentality. You know, he comes here with the hunger to win. And I think he's going to add great value to his team. A uh, hater. You no, know, I haven't got to meet him yet, but it speaks for itself. You know, his, what he's done in the big leagues, he's been the best for so long. So I'm excited to meet him, and I'm excited to be on the same team as him. You ever face him? I think I might have. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go back and see, because I think we, we played them at home three games, but I'm not sure if he pitched or not. Sir, when you did that breakdown, what did you find that was positive? Like, what did you, what did you see that you liked um, from like year one to year two? So going back, you know, I felt like my swing decisions improved. Uh, I felt more patient, um, seeing the ball a little better, and then now it's all kind of mixing it all together, keeping that, but then adding some things on top of that. Feel more obviously, you feel more comfortable, but you know, the first rookie season, Carlos, and then the second season, the expectations like, are you do you feel like you're not in a better place, but more grounded? Do you understand what, what this game is at this level, maybe a little bit more than you have in the past? I, mean, I feel good, yeah. I feel good. I'm confident yeah. in my abilities, I'm confident in the work we put in, and like I said, I'm confident in the team we have. So, uh, I think it's gonna be a great year uh, for the team. 
and y'all yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.